Hello viewers, welcome to my channel at Easy Surveys, where I make survey practices easier and um, educative. Alright, so here in this video t tutorial, I want to show everyone on how to uh, produce a comprehensive population density map using the uh, ArcMap software. Okay, so let's get started. To just quickly do that, the first thing you are expected to have is your primary data which is your population data of the study area okay however if you need the link to download the population data of Nigeria which I'll be using in the course of this training video you can check under the video description for the link okay so here is the uh, population projection of Nigeria so I'm going to show it to you so the primary original data was collected during the 2006 sensor all right so we can see it has been tabulated here all right for each state however the corresponding here is, is the projected um, predicted and computed um, population data which ends as um, which ends at um, 2016 so therefore in this course of this video tutorial I'll be using the 2016 predicted uh, population data however if you want to use the 2006 own you are still good to go okay so you are expected to extract the information which is the state and the population and uh, data of the year of interest okay so I have already done that and here it is so these are the information you are going to be needing the primary data to produce your population density map all right so this is the fid which is the field id the state and the population uh, information of each state so make sure you save as dot csv okay very important as dot csv that is csv comma delimited okay then note the folder your population data is going into so that's the first thing to take note of all right so the next thing is to launch into your ArcGIS uh, environment make sure you have your shapefile of the study area if you are in need of the shapefile I am using in the course of this uh, video tutorial which is the NGA ADM all right you can email me through the email address dropped on the video description okay thank you all right so let's quickly dive into the tutorial all right so first thing you do on your app map is to set up your layer okay the coordinate system of the layer by right clicking on it you scroll to properties then you go to coordinate systems okay so make sure you set it on the coordinate system of interest all right so i'll be using the projected utm in the course of this video tutorial just for northern hemisphere I'm scrolling down to zone 31 okay make sure you set up your coordinate system accurately this will aid your uh, mapping um, uh, operation okay so when you are done setting the coordinate system you input that is you add the uh, shape file of the study area which in this case is Nigeria and each state in Nigeria so that is ADM1 NGA ADM1 so this is how it's going to look like then you come to this um, color icon double click on it make it hollow then make this one then OK alright when you are done with that you have to add up your population data which is in excel.csv alright so when you add that up you have to join the population data to the shape file okay of your study area by clicking on the shape file of the study area you right click you go to you go to joins and relates okay so under joins and relates you come to join all right so the first thing is you leave this on default okay then you the first thing is to choose the field in this layer that is the join will be based on so you make that fid all right the first column you have on your excel then 
you leave this on default as well then this one on default as well then you click on ok so let's view the population data under the sheet file of our study area by right clicking and going to open attribute table you click on that so therefore you can see it here this is the uh, information the FID all right the state and the population uh, data okay so 2016 so these are the informations so therefore the next thing to do is to add the field for the area so we want to calculate each area of the states within the study area so these are states so we want to calculate each area of each state because population density as it sounds density is mass all over volume so we we'll need the mass and we we'll need the volume okay the volume is the area while the mass is the population data so let's go back to the attribute table so to calculate the area okay we need to create a column for area by going to the table options here okay you click on that then you scroll down to add field so you add field you name this area so i'm going to name this new underscore area okay then the type is scroll to float float then you click on ok so as you can see on the screen the new area has been uh, created the column for that so to calculate the area for each state you click on it on the column it's going to be highlighted everything you right click all right then you scroll down to calculate geometry then here you click on yes so here you can see it is area there are other information but it is area we want to calculate then you come here to set up the unit so the unit default is square meters however the area we are calculating is bigger than square meters so i'll be using the square kilometers in the course of this video square kilometers i'll click on that then click on ok then click on yes so therefore this is the area of each state respectively okay so when you are done with that we want to calculate and create a field for density okay so to do just that you will still come to the table options click on add field then here you click on you name the field all right so it's density in this case so i'll just call this p population density then here the type is float as well then you click on ok so therefore the field has been created you click on it to highlight okay so we want to calculate the density of each state okay with respect to the area and to the population data all right therefore when you highlight the new field created you right click then you come to field calculator then you click on yes so here on your field calculator okay it is now going to be the population data which is in the csv population data 2016 okay you click you double click on it to appear here then slash which is divided by the area okay the new area double click on it remember population data dot csv divided by the new area calculated then you click on ok so therefore this is the density of each state all right the population density of each state which we aid our mapping in IGIS. so this is what we are going to be using to produce our map all right it has been completed already please if you have watched this video to this extent do where to hit on the subscribe icon right now if you are yet to do that please do that and keep sharing the videos on this channel so that others can benefit just like you are doing right now thank you all right so when you are done calculating the population density you close the attributes table all right so the next thing we have to do now uh, is to come to the shape file okay you right click and scroll to properties so this time around 
if yours is on general you come to symbology so under symbology you come to quantities so under quantities the field value you make that our p density that is population density you click on that all right the normalization you leave it as, as known all right so when you are done with that you can come here to choose the natural bricks to reclassify based on what you want however i would like to reclassify this into 10 places okay so the classes is 10 you can decide to use five depending on what you want okay so here on labels i will click on that to format my labels by going to format labels so under format labels i don't want uh, the decimal places to be this long so i'll just make the number of decimal places to be zero okay then i'll click on okay so here you can see my label from 50 to 71 that is the density it is low 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 like that like that so it is increasing so the highest i'm having on this map is going to be 1201 to 3319 all right so i'm going to now click on apply so before i click on apply you can decide to change change the color around if you want okay but i'll be leaving it on default okay then i'm going to click on apply and um, okay so you can see this is the population map of nigeria based on projected 2016 data okay the population map of nigeria so i can decide to put the label of the um of the state by right clicking going to attribute table to check the column where i have the state um name so here you can see my state name i can decide to use name underscore one or i can decide to use state however i'll be using the state uh, column in the course of this video so i'll just close that right click then come to properties then this time around i'll come to labels so on label i'll scroll down to label field click on the drop down shadow arrow then scroll down to state okay click on state i can decide to choose the font size to be 10 okay you can make it bold you can change the color but i'll leave it on default then click on apply and um, okay so when you are done with that you still come back to the shape file you right click then you click on label features so therefore you can see the state okay has been labeled on each area it has been labeled and you can see the color depicting each um intensity of population in each region so you can see lagos has the highest form of population as well as um emo to some extent rivers archival abuja is kind of middle in the middle why you'll be they have sparsely populated they are sparsely populated there are no much people around there based on some insecurities and other factors okay other factors so that is how to produce a population density map so to to embellish this map to add your grid lines you come to the layout view section okay you have to add your grid lines add your label um add your title add your legend okay in the next video i'm going to show you how to um perfectly complete the um the map okay i'm going to show you on how to add other features to p making the map presentable Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.